Hello everyone, greetings everybody. I'm Priyanjali from Beautiful Spotless Skin Team. I'm sure all of you must be keeping good health. Welcome everyone to our special Instagram live session. In this live, we will be shedding light on a condition that affects millions worldwide. Acne isn't merely a surface issue. It can deeply impact one's emotional well-being. Beyond the physical blemishes, it can erode self-confidence, leading to anxiety, depression, and social withdrawal. Acne vulgaris is a chronic condition affecting more than 85% of adolescents and young adults. Yet, despite its prevalence, there are still widespread misconceptions and stigmas surrounding acne. That's why today's live aiming to dispel myths, promote understanding and empower individuals to seek effective treatment. Today, we are diving into the topic acne management with our skin expert. Whether you are struggling with breakouts yourself or simply curious about maintaining clear, healthy skin, this session promises to be both informative and engaging. Today, we are honored to introduce Dr. Malini Patil, a renowned skin expert from Thani, Mumbai. Dr. Malini Patil is a dermatologist, cosmetologist and trichologist and has an experience of over 18 years. She completed her MBBS in 1998 and diploma in Venerology Dermatology DVD in 2001 from Seth G.S. Medical College and King Edward Medical College, KEM Hospital. She is a professional member of the Indian Association of Dermatologists, Venerologists, Laprologists, IATVL, and CDSI. Dr. Manli Patil has previously worked as a consultant dermatologist at Kaya Skin Clinic and, has an associate, and as an associate dermatologist at Lilavati Hospital and Research Center. In a career which spanned 18 years, she has successfully dealt with numerous patients suffering from issues related to skin and hair. She keeps herself up to date about the latest hair care technologies. You may visit her in person at our clinic. She is also available for tele and video consultation. She is the founder of skin for You Clinic. Today, we are privileged to have her with us and she will be sharing insights on acne, its management. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to you, doctor, for joining us. Without further ado, over to the first question. So let's start with what is acne and what are the types of acne lesion? Uh, thank you for the wonderful introduction. Um, acne, uh, as you know, it is commonly known as pimples. It is a very common skin condition uh, in which basically the opening of the hair follicles, it gets blocked. Uh, the clogging is because of the oil which is secreted from our glands, uh, from the dead skin cells and the debris which is collected. So everything together, it clogs the pores and that is how the uh, acne occurs. So basic, first and foremost is the whiteheads and the blackheads. Once the pores are clogged, then it uh, gets converted into whiteheads and blackheads because the secretions get collected inside. They don't have a way to go out. So uh, comedons are the first uh, lesion. Then uh, there is inflammation in the uh, sebaceous glands and uh, the uh, material which is clogged. And this causes red lesions like papules uh, or boils. And then there are nodules and cysts also, which can be seen. Right. In acne. Uh, doctor, now that we know uh, what is acne, uh, what are the spe hmm. specific areas of face acne? Uh, does it does it have specific causes behind it? Yes. Uh, if there are acne in certain areas of the face, it can give an indication uh, what could be the problem. As in, if there are very small, small bumps on your forehead, then uh, there are higher chances of one having dandruff. So one has to look into that. Uh, if one has acne around the jawline, then it is usually hormonal. Uh, so in females, the uh, possibility of menstrual irregularities or PCOS. Uh, if uh, patients have more lesions, people have more lesions on the back. So that gives an indication that there is a linking of diet as well as dandruff. So there are certain areas which give us an indication of certain reasons for acne. So, so we are also saying that dandruff can also be another major reason for acne formation. Yes, definitely. Definitely. 
so so for that uh, sort of patient i think uh, is it that we have to treat the dandruff first and then we have to treat the acne uh, see there is uh, not only one reason there are multiple reasons mm. for acne so dandruff is right. one of the most common reason hormones is uh, one of the most common reasons uh, there are other reasons as well for uh, acne there are only not these two reasons uh so right. whatever cosmetics one are using so that also mm. is there then um, uh what diet you are taking one is taking if right. one is going to the gym and taking whey proteins that is also one of the causative factors so it is a overall uh, history which is important not only a certain right. thing by which right. we can say right. that you know only by treating this one will be cured of uh, acne right so if we dive into a specific cause suppose we are talking about people who are suffering from hormonal issues and that you have already mentioned that uh, it can be a cause uh, for acne formation so uh, uh, they they at this moment might be thinking that hormonal change hai to isse cure karna to bahut mushkil hone wala hai so what what answer do we have for them can it be cured uh, or it can be just treated uh see if someone has a uh, polycystic ovarian disease or poly polycystic ovarian symptoms along with it if there are menstrual irregularities so sometimes we have to treat that also along with it if there is increase in testosterone increase androgens which are there so that also need to be treated along with uh, whatever uh, oral medicines or topical creams so uh, everything is treatable yes but if one has hormonal cause then it takes little bit longer than other patients mm. to get it treated right. and we need a little intensive treatment we have to include endocrinologists also so everything needs to be looked at in a whole not right. only on one so particular thing right right so so doctor if we if we speak about uh, treating uh, any uh, uh, condition or any disease uh, i think uh, prolonging it can make it worse so how does one know in the initial stage that this is acne and this is the time they should visit the dermatologist how does the initial stage look like see initially uh, usually it happens during puberty whenever there is a pubertal spurt as in around uh, in females it is around 11 years in nowadays it even 10 years and in males it is around 13 to 14 years so in the pre pubertal years you uh, people can notice that there is a change in the facial uh, um, what do you say there is oiliness of face there is dandruff formation or there are small small bumps which are coming so any changes in the facial lesions one should get in touch with the doctor instead of treating it or just neglecting it waiting for it to just get over with a because that is a normal thing yeah ye to hota hi hai ye to ye age mein to hota hi hai so kyu treatment karna hai no it should be treated because it is in the earlier stage so aap unko zyada you don't have to take lot of medicines or anything so it is it will get uh, treated faster so that right. notion that myth that it will get treated on its own that is wrong that sh one should uh, visit a dermatologist that time itself right right absolutely and uh, for all the people who are wondering ki theek hai koi baat nahi ho jayega but uh, you will definitely not feel the same after few years when you will understand that appearance is it matters a lot you know and slowly and mm -hmm. gradually uh, the things will get worse if you don't treat it uh, so uh, correcting it in the initial stage is the best possible thing we would advise to all the viewers all the patients who are watching us right now uh, don't prolong it any further uh, speaking about again a cause uh, doctor uh, can uh, over the counter medications or oral contraceptive pills or uh, people who has the habit of uh, uh, taking paracetamol pain killers like candies uh, can also those uh, be a reason for acne formation uh yes sometimes uh, what happens is uh, there is a very fad about uh, fairness everyone wants to get fair so uh, in that process people just go to the medical and ask for a cream or people sometimes go to the parlors for threading or waxing or anything and uh, that is when the, they ask uh, about fairness and um, mm. uh, they have they are advised that they should apply some creams now they don't know what mm. the creams have 
contain right. now most of these fairness creams they contain uh, steroids and steroids mm. are a very uh, major problem in our country because uh, that that is uh, when whenever we apply steroids on the face they can cause comedonal acne and they give a breakout of bad acne breakouts so never use anything on the face without the consent of i mean without asking a dermatologist that is right. the advice i would give right speaking of that doctor uh, let's talk a little out of the context also we are definitely talking about skin and hair and uh, of course overall health today uh, but uh, as you have mentioned fairness in our indian society there is some craziness about fairness like only fair skin mm. can look beautiful it's absolutely not uh, like that actually uh, we also know that all sort of the skin just has to be healthy and it should and be uh, flawless that's that's what makes a person look beautiful uh, now yes. again speaking about fairness there are a lot of products as you have mentioned but uh, if we talk specifically uh, i have seen a lot of people just watching ads and tv promotions and looking at their idols and taking glutathione so uh, without any dermatologist's uh, concern they are doing this so can this be harmful how does it work does it actually uh, helps somebody to get fairer and if it does uh, it would would it be safe to uh, you know consume it without a dermatologist's concern um yeah glutathione is the currently the buzz of the industry though we are diversifying from our topic but uh, yeah i would like to tell right. uh, that uh, yeah. glutathione is a basically an antioxidant so which is already produced in our body Uh, but uh, with, when we take glutathione in little excess amounts, uh, it can cause skin lightening. Uh, but the brand or uh, the uh, content of glutathione is very important. What does that pill contain, or what does that IV contain? That is very important. So now it should be taken from uh, a person who knows about this particular medicine. So I would say a doctor is the best person who can guide you, which. Uh, glutathione should be taken uh, whether iv should be taken oral should be taken because there are all varieties of glutathione now available in the market uh, they are available on the over the counter they are available online but uh, what i would suggest is you should always ask a dermatologist or a doctor and uh, on their prescription only you should take the glutathione okay well, definitely uh, it, it was... is the... yes yes yeah definitely uh, it helps in fairness but uh, not yeah. without the prescription of a dermatologist absolutely that was the expert advice for today people uh, who are still uh, consuming it uh, please make sure you uh, have the prescription from your dermatologist and then you are taking it you never know it might affect your health in any possible way so don't do that don't do that with any anything your health is not something you need to put at risk just just because you want to look good uh, well again let's dive into the topic we are talking about acne management today uh, doctor the next question for you is what are the grades of acne uh there are about four grades of acne uh, first grade will only have around comedones so blackheads whiteheads uh, grade 2 uh, it goes into the inflammatory stage so little bit of red boils like papules one or two pustules pustules is those yellow or white boils you get on top of the acne those are called pustules uh, grade 3 is more of uh, big big uh, nodules and even sometimes pus filled nodules and grade 4 would be cysts so that has to be operated right that's a very severe right. condition right another another uh, uh, thing which we normally pe- see people doing is uh, popping the pimple or popping any enlargement they have on the skin so how harmful can that be doctor yeah that is very harmful because popping of acne or picking of acne is absolutely not advised because that can mm-hmm. cause even uh, dark spots which takes lot of time to go and secondly it can cause scarring and scarring once there is a scar you can never totally get rid of the scar whatever treatment right. is done there will be little bit of uh, um, 
scar which is remaining. So your skin will never be take them totally plain. So never pick on your acne. That's the worst thing to do. Right, right. Just apply the uh, topical creams I, and everything. Absolutely, absolutely. Doctor, we are talking about face a lot today, but also tell us what are the other areas where we can see the formation of acne. Acne you can get uh, on the back, on the arms, upper arms, uh, sometimes even on the buttocks. So butt yeah. acne is also very common. Right, right. So uh, everyone, you need to make a note of that, that it's not just about your face. It's about the entire appearance of you. Uh, so whatever it is, whatever change you see in your body, make sure you're visiting an expert after that for the expert advice. Uh, let's talk about the next question, which is what are the treatment options uh, which are available for the different grades of acne? Um, normally, uh... For uh, whiteheads and blackheads, for the very mild variety of acne, we give only topical creams like retinoids, uh, benzyl peroxide, adepiline, you know, all those creams. And if it is not uh, responding to that, then we do cauterization of the comedones. Um, in whenever there is any inflammatory lesion, like red lesions, then uh, there are options of, along with oral antibiotics and oral retinoids, we have options of chemical peels also. So chemical peels mm -hmm. will help in decreasing the inflammation much faster. And uh, one does not have to take a lot of antibiotics also. Um, also, there is, uh, uh, after the acne, there are these red marks which are left. So IPN will help for the red marks also for the decreasing the inflammatory phase of acne so ipl shots also are given sometimes to decrease acne and uh, once this is all done then uh, as a maintenance one can do medifacials or microderm abrasion so that that helps in removing the dead skin cells on a regular basis so uh, right. mainly in early grades it is uh, uh, only topical creams, but as the grades increase, we have to give oral antibiotics and oral retinoids along with the treatments, other treatments in the clinic. Right. Doctor, because you mentioned retinoids, uh, we see nowadays people are very much concerned about their uh, skin care. Uh, not, not gender specific. I have seen both the genders equally you know uh, applying all those products in their skin so there are a lot of products available in the market right now we also see a lot of influencers online you know suggesting ki aap aise lagaye, iske baad ye lagaye, iske baad eye gel lagaye, aur phir, uh, this is what i do for my skin so kahi na kahi hum sochte hai ki hum bhi karenge to we will look like that person uh, so for all the people who are applying all of it, I have seen a lot of people uh, who has an entire such big kit for their skin and they are applying each and everything, whatever they're seeing. So uh, can that be harmful? What is the right thing to do? How can the, they maintain a healthy skin? Like people, everybody who is watching us right now. Yeah. Uh, yes. Now... Uh... There are a lot of things which are available in the market. One gets really confused. Some uh, go into peer pressure. A friend is using, so they also start using. Or someone tells them and they start using that. But that is not the right thing to do. Because every skin is different. Every person is different. So you should first get checked. Your, how is your skin type? What is your skin type? What uh, um, serums will be suitable for you? Now, there are many... Uh, many girls who are in there for who are hardly 14 or 15 they were they are asking is man should i doctor should i use vitamin c on my face i'm like no you are not in that age now to use vitamin c so there is a certain age when you should start using it and not at every age you have to use that product if you do not have that if your skin is all good then why why to use a certain product right, like retinoids right. on you no no you should get first your skin check. If you, if the doctor feels, they'll see, check your skin entirely. And if they feel, then you should start using the retinoids or um, retinol serum or vitamin C. Uh, not with just by, uh, just because of peer pressure or just because someone is using it. I should just start using it. Or I'm right now 20, so I should start using this. No, it is not like that. 
right right well uh, for all the people who are following their idols uh, their uh, uh, instagram idols we have a lot of people who are very much uh, uh, conscious with what their their idols are doing or anybody they are following right now uh, make sure that the products they are using uh, first of all they are earning from it <laughs> secondly uh, i'm sure the products which they are using day and night every day their dermatologist have suggested them so uh, it's for their skin everybody has a different skin make sure you are using the right thing for your skin now uh, let's move ahead to the next question doctor the role of sunscreen uh, what kind of sunscreen do we suggest for people with different kind of skin suppose for regular skin uh, people who are suffering from acne for sensitive skin who are suffering from acne uh, is sunscreen important uh, to apply on a yes, daily basis for them as well yes yes sunscreen is very important you should be using how you brush your teeth daily on a daily basis that is how you should use a sunscreen before going out one has to use a sunscreen because the uv rays are so powerful right now that because of the ozone layer depleting and everything you have to use a sunscreen um now uh, if a person has very oily skin then they can start using a matte finish sunscreen or a gel based sunscreen transparent sunscreen okay so that will help in controlling their sebum production also and that will not make their skin look uh, looking shiny or oily um mm. if one has a very dry skin uh, then they should use a uh, moisturizing based sunscreen nowadays there are a lot of sunscreens available so anyone right. any sunscreen which has a natural moisturizing factor use those sunscreens um if one has a normal combination sense sunscreen then they can use a gel other uh, gel based sunscreen like silicon gel based sunscreen that also can be used so they don't have a problem but if you are acne prone you should know what sunscreen to use on your face right right uh, doctor speaking a little bit more about sunscreen there are a lot of people who are wondering uh, that uh, हमने बचपन में कभी सनस्क्रीन नहीं लगाया इनफैक्ट मी इफ आई टॉक अबाउट माई सेल्फ माई मॉम हैज नेवर आस्क मी टू अपलाई सनस्क्रीन बिफोर स्टेपिंग आउट और इवन वेन वी आर इन साइड इन डोज वी यूर आर डॉमेटोलॉजी सेइंग नाउ इट इज की अगर घर पे भी हो फिर भी आप सनस्क्रीन लगाओ जरूरी है एंड री एप्लीकेशन ऑफ सनस्क्रीन इज सो मच इम्पॉर्टेंट आई हैव जस्ट अप्लाइड जॉनसन बेबी दैट्स ऑल आई नो अबाउट माई स्किन केयर दैट्स ऑल आई हैव डन सिंस चाइल्ड then uh, i have uh, recently watched a video where uh, somebody very much knowledgeable was saying ki agar aapko vishwas nahi ho raha hai aap apne skin ke skin ke half side sunscreen lagao and the other side just don't apply it you will definitely notice the change we have seen uh, skin wrinkling up or aging very fast if you are not applying sunscreen are these things true uh, should we believe uh, the uh, real thing that sunscreen is important should we really believe it yes yes we should believe that sunscreen is really important but yes i wouldn't say that every person who has uh, not used the sunscreen wrinkles faster aise nahi hai genes also play a play a, play a role uh, but right. yes in nowadays in this weather in with the era which we are living in uh we should be using a sunscreen because aging happens starts at around 25 itself you start aging from the age of 25 so uh, to uh, decrease decrease that to decrease the fine lines wrinkles so you should use a sunscreen photo aging is becoming very common nowadays so uh, irrespective of whether you might might not age you know it's better to use a sunscreen rather than you know waiting for the damage to happen and then going for using it right and doctor uh, how much to apply and uh, is reapplication important if so then what should be the time duration with in fact within what time should we apply the sunscreen the sunscreen uh, about one fingertip unit that is enough for the face and one fingertip for your neck that is how the sunscreen should be used sunscreen always should be used liberally now um, uh, based on the reapplication if you are going out or staying out in the sun uh, you should use it every 3 to 4 hours now if you are uh, going for swimming then ideally every hour or in the beach on the beach or wherever wherever you are sweating a lot 
so you have to use sunscreen every hour whatever might be the claims of that sunscreen you should use it every hour if you're going on a beach hmm? but otherwise if you are if you're leaving your house at 10 o'clock then 9:30 you should be applying a sunscreen but if you're going mm. again out and then you're going to the office but you're going for lunch at around 1 1:30 you're going outside to have lunch then you should reapply one should reapply the sunscreen because once you apply the sunscreen it is effective only for 3 hours then the spf of that sunscreen decreases you do not get that much protection as is required and in the afternoon the uv rays are very powerful so reapplication is a must right if you are not going out right. then don't apply right uh so doctor uh, again speaking of facts uh, we see a lot of people having vitamin d deficiency nowadays so uh, uh, probably uh, it's because uh, lifestyle is different uh, they have a certain pattern that people uh, sleep very late and get up very late uh, so this has become a pattern nowadays so can these uh, sleeping patterns again uh, your food habits the the drastic change in food habits which we see in our days can these things also affect and lead to acne formation is it possible yes it is possible sleep is very important uh, if one doesn't get sleep then there are a lot of hormonal changes which go on in the body which maybe one is not aware of but it is going on and then that is re- leading to re- uh, release of all the stress hormones which causes increase in the androgens and then acne formation but i am not saying that everyone who is sleep deprived will get acne no but one who is prone to get acne one who uh, one who has the tendency that uh, of breakouts then they will definitely see that if they are sleep deprived they might get breakouts of acne or if they have certain diet food junk food or anything they can get acne so uh, yes that is important so having a good 7 hour sleep is important Hmm. So, in continuation to the topic which we are talking right now, uh, vitamin D deficiency I was mentioning. Uh, so, uh, hmm. we we heard dermatologists saying that uh, once we take the sun rays, uh, the direct sun rays, uh, there is amount of uh, vitamin D which we receive from it. So, what would be the preferable time when we should actually be expo- exposed to the sun? Ideally, ideally uh, before eight o'clock. because that time the uv rays are not that powerful so you have to sit in that sun for at least half an hour to get your daily requirement of d3 okay but if you go beyond that right 9 10 11 then the uv rays are also very powerful so you might end up you know having uh, um, acne uh, photosensitivity or uh, uh, allergic reactions to the sun uv rays so those also are a problem because the uv rays are very powerful so ideally before 8 o'clock and about 30 minutes you have to sit in front of the sun to get the daily requirement of d3 right so for all the people who are planning to wake up early from now uh, you know what to do you have to sleep early for that to aapko jaldi sona padega taki aap subah jaldi time pe uth pao aur jo suraj ki kirno se direct sun rays se jo vitamin d ka deficiency ho raha hai aap logo ko jo ki sabhi ko ho raha hai everybody we see suffering from vitamin deficiency aur uske baad aap capsules le rahe ho aapke paas abundance of sunlight rehta hai which you get free of cost all you have to do is sleep early and get up early in the morning uh, moving ahead with the next question uh, doctor uh, diet we were saying so what can be the diets which uh, one should avoid uh, especially people who are prone to acne uh, the kind of food they should have if you could please mention that as well yes um uh, see first and foremost dairy products dairy products one should avoid because that is a scientific evidence that uh, milk and milk products can cause acne uh, because of the hormones which are present in the milk so that is first and foremost thing secondly junk food as in anything which is high glycemic index any food which is high glycemic index now which are the food which is have high glycemic index these are um, bread white bread wheat bread cookies 
uh, potatoes french fries uh, chips even cereals these are these also have high glycemic index so uh, those food should be avoided because those increase the uh, insulin production and that is how there is increased production of androgens and increased sebum production which causes acne so those food should be avoided along with dairy products rest sab right. sab kuch khao green healthy vegetables khao you eat lot of fruits you eat uh, pulses lentils legumes bhar bhar ke khao no problem right also so ha, one more thing, uh, one more thing. yes 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 sir. whey protein whey protein whenever mm. you are going to the mm. gym so whey mm. protein also is one of the uh, problematic uh, factors for causing acne we have seen that and it has been proved scientifically also right right well i was about to ask you that good that you mentioned uh, okay. so uh, let's let's talk a little bit more about this uh, so nowadays all the gym freaks uh, they uh, have a tendency of skipping their food and just taking protein uh, they are just having protein in any form maybe eggs or uh, uh, the protein shakes which we get in market so i have seen people entirely they are just shaking their shaker and they're just consuming the protein shake and skipping their food all the time so can that be harmful how much protein to take for a uh, normal average person it depends on your uh, body weight okay so uh, uh, how much is your bmi all uh, everything matters when you are calculating proteins for your body according that is according to your uh, body weight so that uh, you should also go to a dietitian and then take the call how much protein you should take okay right right uh, so people uh, uh, well uh, uh, who are wondering ki sara sab kuch to khana hamara band hi kar diya now we can't have dairy products <laughs> we can't have cookies we can't have chocolates but uh, here we are talking about acne today uh, let me tell you agar aap ye sab chote chote diet mein changes karenge na sirf acne mein nahi balki aapka overall health improve hone wala hai uh, yeah we are just talking about one particular thing but if you see you will definitely see if you eliminate sugar from your diet there will be drastic change in your health people who are suffering to uh, struggling to lose weight uh, this small tiny bit of change can make you better in every possible way if you speak about uh, your aging if you speak about your skin your health your hair everything will be improved just if you make those tiny changes and that is why our experts they always suggest you to have a healthy diet ghar ka khana khao saag sabzi khaiye roti khaiye ghar mein jo bachpan se kha ke bade hue hain wo sab khana khaiye don't experiment zarurat nahi hai uh doctor uh, let's dive into the next uh, question uh we have spoken about food here uh, but uh, let's also speak about the lifestyle the kind of lifestyle changes uh, we have been forced uh, to be uh, a part of the society now we don't have any escape uh, isi chakkar mein na hydration ho raha hai we have talked about food already uh, and lifestyle also so how can this lifestyle changes impact a person's overall health and specifically if we talk about acne can uh, does hydration also play important role in it yes yes hydration also plays you should uh, hydrate yourself very well um, because uh, if you uh, hydrate yourself well the toxins uh, are removed from the body uh, much faster because as you know because of the hectic lifestyle because of the diet what we are eating there is a lot of toxin build up so if we don't hydrate ourselves properly then the toxin uh, build up will all, only increase and then cause an increase in the acne also breakouts also so you should drink at least 3 liters of water daily right right uh, again uh, because we are talking about skin here doctor uh, uh, hmm. there are a lot of people girls specifically who have to apply makeup on a daily basis uh, if i talk about me i have hmm. to apply makeup on a daily basis so how do we choose our makeup and which makeup would be most preferable for people uh, with acne prone skin 
see basically whenever you are uh, using a makeup before using a makeup you should use at least two three layers that is what i keep telling my patients so first use mm-hmm. your normal uh, daily uh, after cleansing your face use the serum which you are using and then use a sunscreen and then on top of that you should use your makeup now makeup should be always from a good brand uh, should see that it is non comedogenic now it depends on what type of skin also do you have if it is dry then do not use matte finish makeup because it will make your skin more uh, flaky uh, so use a makeup which has moisturizing uh, factors in uh, in it along with it um, if uh, one skin is oily then one has to use a matte finish makeup so uh, a makeup uh, selecting a makeup also depends on what skin type you have and also whenever uh, your work is done cleansing is very important you should not mm. sleep with your makeup on i know how much ever tired you are you are coming even at 2 o'clock at night first thing and foremost you should remove the makeup so double cleanse your face and remove your makeup use a micellar right. water then use a face wash and then be may, be sure that you have removed your makeup by taking a cotton and wiping your face right right then well uh, right these are these are the golden rules basically you should follow uh, if you are, if you have to apply makeup uh, a prep before your makeup and of course removing your makeup properly well clean your face uh, well it was it was wonderful talking with you doctor so far because uh, all the things i want to ask you are already answering it so uh, Uh, it's such nice uh, talking to you with that let's have some live viewers questions i can see our viewers also engaging a lot today um, the first question comes from mohit who asks can dehydration worsen acne yes because as we said uh, dehydration will cause a lot of build up of toxins and if you are prone to acne then when the toxins don't get removed then there will be uh, hormones build up and then that can cause increase in androgens and stress and then that can cause breakouts so removing of toxins is very important so hydrating yourself is very important in in case of acne well moving on to the next question uh, firoz asks how does pollution affect acne hmm. yes pollution uh, see basically pollution helps in Uh, it uh, see normally there is oil production which is there on your face because there are there are sebaceous glands there is oil which is built up now uh, whenever a person has lot of oil then the pollution which is there the dust everything gets collected and oh, it gets mixed with the oil and the normal dead skins which is there and that is what is cause this clogging of the pores and then the acne so uh, we have to uh, after you come uh, from outside you have to always cleanse your face with a cleanser mm. so a cleanser with what face wash you use is also important you should not use right. a very harsh face wash you use a gentle cleanser to right. wash the face right right uh, the next question doctor uh, pooja asks how does vitamin d affect acne <laughs> see now vitamin d deficiency if one has vitamin d deficiency then that causes dryness of skin now if one skin is very dry drying then you start applying lot of moisturizer on the face because there is a lot of dryness now if the moisturizer which one is applying is not as per the skin type then that will cause more of clogging of pores and then acne hmm okay so uh, vitamin d per se will not cause acne but it is via via it is what right. products you apply on the skin the which that will cause the acne right right uh, pooja i believe you have got you have got your answer the next question comes from ashish who asks does liver health relate to acne no not really not directly right The next question, doctor, comes from Swati, who asks, "Can turmeric help with acne?" Turmeric is a very good antibacterial. Yes, um, it can help. Yes, definitely. Um, you can apply a turmeric mask, and it will decrease the inflammatory phase of the acne. 
but the turmeric which you use should be of very good quality and it should be pure nowadays ev sab mein mix mixture rehta hai so you have to be careful which turmeric you are using right the next and the DIY. last question doctor Right, right. We are we are so much fond of DIYs nowadays. घर घरेलू उसके is the first thing we uh, try to apply whenever we see any changes in our skin. Ah, uh, so ah, uh, can those घरेलू उसके ah uh, be helpful for acne management or should we first visit the dermatologist? See, sometimes ah uh, it can help. Ah, uh, hmm. such as this turmeric. Turmeric is safe to be used, but Uh, what else do you put in that is very important now mm. and how frequently one does that that is also important once in a mm. week is fine and if you if there are people who just use curd on a daily basis daily basis i know curd curd is good i'm not saying curd is not good but curd uh, has lactic acid in it so uh, it is like a chemical peel so you cannot use it on a daily basis because it will remove all the oils on your face and it will make one skin very dry and then on top of that then if you use the normal products it will cause acne more rather than decreasing it some of them use malai malai use karo malai so i with add anything in malai so that helps that can cause clogging of pores so not all diy's are safe Okay, so I would suggest first consult the dermatologist and then only do your because it is based on your skin type, how your skin is. Based on that, you should do all these things. Not every every skin is different, so everyone just because a friend is doing that, I will also do that. It doesn't go like that. Right. Uh, well, the last question, doctor, comes from Palkesh who asks, so what are the best serums for acne prone skin? <laughs> that depends on what kind of serum are we talking about there are many serums which are there one is the niacinamide serum salicylic serum now niacinamide serum is very commonly used nowadays it is mm -hmm. um, it helps in good sebum control so uh, oil control uh, serum and it is really good you one can use that uh, but uh, i i would still i would suggest you uh, instead of taking it from online or from over the counter better to contact a dermatologist get your skin checked and based on that decide which serums to be used now one is niacinamide serum second is salicylic serum if one has very oily skin one can start using a salicylic serum but these all are under the uh, advice of a dermatologist dermatologist will suggest which products to use because we know what contents go into that serum that is why we can suggest certain serums for you based on your skin type so it is very right, important right. Uh, uh, doctor the last question uh, for today would be yes um, well uh, doctor uh, we have seen a lot of uh, people saying ki collagen badhaiye collagen badhaiye apne skin mein it will start looking young and youthful so what is this collagen uh, and uh, i won't uh, talk about products here because uh, again it has to be done under expert advice but what are the natural sources how uh, we can increase the collagen in our uh, skin health yeah collagen is basically a protein uh, which is found under the skin and that is what gives the youthfulness to the skin okay mm -hmm. uh, so uh, so uh, as as one ages uh, the collagen and the elastin the build up starts decreasing mm -hmm. there is uh, body stops producing right. more collagen after a certain age and that is why one starts aging so that age depends mm -hmm. on person to person uh, now collagen uh, production if we want to increase or we want to eat uh, get more collagen in our body then fish is a very good source of collagen marine collagen is very good so i never that is why we are see we see when a, whoever eats a lot of fish their skin is really good and glowing mm -hmm. so fish is a very good source uh, one who has uh, uh, one who are vegetarians uh, broccoli is good uh, flax seeds are good those also help in giving good uh, skin texture right um, 
वेल लास्टली वी वुड डेफिनेटली वॉन्ट टू से कि अच्छा खाइए और अच्छा लाइफ स्टाइल मेंटेन कीजिए डॉक्टर वॉट वुड बी द क्लोजिंग नोट फॉर टूडे एनी टेक होम मैसेज फॉर अर व्यूअर्स हु हैज वॉच अस सो फार Yes, um, I'll give you a few. Uh, I would suggest some few self-care tips uh, for uh, people who have uh, acne or are prone to acne. Uh, so first and foremost, we would be uh, uh, the cleanser that you use. Uh, use a very uh, use a gentle cleanser uh, as per your skin type. So uh, when when you go go once visit a dermatologist see your skin type and they will suggest you a cleanser based on that use a gentle cleanser do not use lot of harsh cleansers on your face because sometimes that can take out the oil from your face and then that can cause more of breakouts uh, avoid lot of scrubbing so uh, people use those scrubs lot of apricot scrub ye scrub wo scrub so uh, do not use lot of scrubs Uh, once a week or once in ten days is fine, but not on a every alternate day basis or anything. Um, moisturizing is very important. Though one has oily skin or uh, dry skin, oily skin, एक हर दिन नहीं लगाया तो भी चलेगा. But for dry skin, you should one should use a moisturizer and use a moisturizer uh, which is uh, for acne prone skin or patients who have oily skin. It should be. uh a little oil free it should be water based or gel based moisturizer sometimes even we have moisturizers which have niacinamide or zinc which can control the sebum production so use those lightweight moisturizers use a very good sunscreen now sunscreen also choosing a sunscreen is also very important it should be non comedogenic it should be oil free it should be lightweight hai na so it should be broad spectrum now whether it is matte finish or gel or lotion would be based on your skin type um one should eat a very healthy diet healthy balanced diet is very important so include lot of uh, food which are low in glycemic index rather than high glycemic index foods so eat lot of fruits green vegetables uh, whole grains legumes drink lot of water hydrate yourself pani peete ro hydrate yourself to remove the toxins um avoid um, avoid touching your face very often people like to touch their face very often so if one is acne prone so try to avoid that do not touch your face often try to change your bed sheets pillow covers uh, on a day um, not on a daily basis on a regular basis um try to clean your phone sanitize your phone covers and everything because that also continuously we are on the phone so that also can cause acne so do that also and for the last is exercise regularly so exercising is very important don't not you don't require the vigorous exercise but even few surya namaskar on a daily basis also will give you a good health so well that is what i feel is important well that was the expert advice for today and uh, that was dr malini for us thank you so much dr malini for your valuable time it has been a very very informative session for our viewers today and it was great to hear from you we look forward to many more such session in coming time and thank you viewers for your excellent participation for more information and updates stay connected on our instagram profile beautiful spotless skin we are also available on facebook youtube and twitter thank you stay safe and stay healthy Thank you.